Good morning guys. Today I'm on the Hex uh, F550 again. I want to show you how I balance props. These are Gemfan 10, 1045 efficiency props. So what I want to show you is how I balance them. You should always balance props before you go out and fly. It can lead to less vibrations, better flying craft, etc. Just part of the practice of a build in any, in any craft, whether it's a plane or whether it's a drone you should balance your props so what you need this is a prop balancer I've got, I have got two this is my small version which I find is easy to use just for general just general um, props so what you get with it is this little screw piece right so all you're doing is putting the prop in between the two and tightening it up now this, is, this prop here has already been balanced, so I'll show you what a balanced prop looks like. Give it a tighten, and then you're basically sitting it. These are magnetic. These are magnetic, so this will spin and show me the heavier side of the propeller when I let it go. Try and do it without wind. There's a little bit of wind here at the moment, but this is a prop I have balanced. If I let it go, it's very little showing which side's the heavier side. You can see how even it is and how well it sits. Now I'll show you a prop that hasn't been balanced. Right, so this prop here hasn't been balanced. I found the other prop that I just showed you, which is balanced now, was quite a fair way out and took a fair bit of fixing. So this one here, let's check it out. If I hold it level like this, and then let go, we'll see which side's the heaviest. You can see it clearly falling onto this side there. So this side's the heavier side of the prop. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, you can do it by using tape, depending on how, how to balance it is, and it will depend on how far up the prop or down the prop you're going to need to put the tape. I don't prefer using this, I, I prefer to use sandpaper, so I use a 80 grit sandpaper, it's not real rough, it's rough enough to take enough off the prop, but not rough enough to damage the prop, it keeps it smooth still. My preferred method is to use sandpaper. Try and send as much of it as I can off the end of the blade, mind you don't make it out of shape, so be careful when you do do the sanding. Also, when you're sanding, um, you want to keep the, the shape of the blade. You don't want to alter that. You've got a sharp edge, which is a cutting edge, and then you've got a thicker edge on the back. Sand the thicker edge. Don't sand the cutting edge. Try and sand from the middle, to the thick edge at the back here to get it in balance. It's still very heavy on one side. You don't want too coarse a sandpaper either because you don't want it to scratch. You want a sandpaper that's gritty enough that's going to get off a substantial amount if your props are way out of balance. This one here doesn't really mark too much, as you can see, it leaves it still fairly smooth, this sandpaper. So we'll check it again. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter. It's not falling as much, but it's still falling. As you can see, it's nowhere near as heavy as it first was. Now, so this is best done indoors when there's no wind. So now it's getting close. <clears throat> there you go. 
that's your perfectly balanced prop. I find this is the best way to do it with sandpaper. But that's perfectly balanced right there, that's it. In this case I've got six to do, so you repeat this until all your props are perfectly balanced and the least amount of vibrations you should get with your, um, your craft when it's flying. Hope that helps someone. Um, it's a boring thing to do I know, but it's a fairly important part of the tuning process in anything really, whether it's a fixed wing plane or a um, hex coptered, any type of drone, anything that's got a propeller, balance your props. Cheers guys.